It's November 2022, and welcome back to Mark's Prostate Cancer Experience. It's been exactly seven years since I had my prostate removed, and for those of you that have followed this channel, you'll know that I've documented everything from the day before surgery, through surgery, through the months and years that passed. And my last video was posted during COVID and I haven't really posted much since then. So I thought I would bring this channel back on, back alive again, and start to post new content to help you and others that you know who are looking to uh, get information and learn about prostate cancer and the surgery and everything that comes afterwards as well, better than in past videos. And that's because I've started to embrace YouTube. I've built a studio, I have better equipment, better sound, and better resources. And what I'm hoping to do as we get into the new year is start to build on this channel and get more information, bring on guest speakers, maybe have some blogs or vlogs or podcasts, things like that, and just everything that will help anybody that is embracing this disease understand what their options are and what to expect. So I'll be posting content about myths about surgery, things to know about prostate cancer, what happens years afterwards, and what happens when that PSA starts rising up a little bit. What does it mean and what can you do about it? And this doesn't always mean that radiation and treatment is necessary with a rising PSA. And if your PSA starts to rise, some things to look at because it doesn't always mean you have to get radiation. So for now, I would just ask that you subscribe and like this channel. Keep an eye out for more content in the new year. And if you have suggestions on things that you would like to see on this channel, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer each and every one of you. And I wish all of you happy holidays, happy new year, and we'll be seeing a lot of each other coming soon.